Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, Daniel. I'm doing great. Gabby, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, good evening. Uh, just hey. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a lot of homework i'm so sorry oh, oh okay okay no worries but thank you so much for for joining so i'm glad to see you connected and i'm like where's that <laughs> no miss no worries thank you and i and i appreciate um that you're telling me so i'm aware that you're gonna be just a listener <laughs> the best of luck i hope everything goes well at university yeah thank you Alrighty, so Arnoldo, good evening, Noemi, good evening. How are you doing, guys? Is everything okay? Are you doing fine? Are you good? Um, Daniel, so you're working tonight? Uh, yes, Hi, yes. I... uh, I'm here in my workplace. Sorry. Oh, so that's your workplace. Yes. <laughs> oh, I see. I I, I, I am in the, in the office, uh, administrative office, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so you're at the mm -hmm. office. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice, but you said that night shift was kind of good, right? It was okay. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so that sounds good. Noemi, how are you doing? Kenya, good evening. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello. I listen uh, present means. You're going to be a listener. Uh, Noemi? Hi, I, I don't listen very well. Oh, okay. Uh, am, am I breaking? Guys, me estoy quebrando. Am I breaking? Me escuchan como quebradito? Am I breaking? No, no teacher. Okay. No, I, I think it's the internet of the other. Okay. So, no, I mean, mantengamos la, la camarita apagada. Let's keep it off, right? Because uh, probably solo el internet necesita estabilizarse un poco. And you let us know, right? So, hopefully your internet gets a little better. And thank you so much for your camera, guys. It's really nice to have you. Um, Arnoldo, are you with us today? Are you at the office? Good evening. Hello. Uh, at home. Oh, so you're at home. Amazing. OK, so Arnoldo, I really want to listen to you tonight. <laughs> OK. So today's going to be like Arnoldo every, every three minutes. <laughs> no, <laughs> nice, nice. So how many days are you off? Um, today, from today to Friday. Oh, very good. So that means that we are going to have you the rest of the week, like participating. Yes, yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. Sounds really cool. Okay, okay. Um, Okay, so already. Okay, give me just a moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's going on there. All right, guys, and um, sorry about that. So I was like just reading a message here. Okay, so great to have you guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Me avisa si tienen alguna dificultad, like listening to us, right? Or anything, or if I'm breaking, because it looks like my internet's getting kind of weird today. Uh, Christian, good evening. Helen, good evening. Great to see you guys. Uh, Andrea, good evening. I hope you're having a very good day. So I hope you're having a good one. Happy Wednesday, people. And uh, I think I see Angelica there. Como están, guys? Everything okay? Is everything good? Fine? Oh, it's fine. 
Ready? Ok, ok. Les agradezco, guys, por el Fine. tiempo, you know, oh, yeah, you're yeah. taking, like, to be here, to join us. And of course, and I hope you're ready to practice today. Um, guys, yesterday estuvimos repasando un poquito la parte de pronunciation, intonation, un poquito de vocabulario con simple past tense. ¿Cómo sintieron la actividad? How do you feel it? Um, sintieron que it was kind of, did it help? Eh, sí sintieron que les ayudó un poquito la parte de leer, you know, con pronunciation, trabajar un poco la entonación, or not that much. I'm asking you because I'm trying to, um, to find activities que nos ayuden mucho con la parte de pronunciación, pero también que nos vayan desarrollando eh, la parte de conexión de ideas. Because I think that that is the most difficult thing at some point, right? Poder conectar lo que yo quiero decir and uh, que las ideas vengan un poco más rápido. So la lectura nos ayuda también para tener un poquito de vocabulario. But how, how do you feel? Uh, si ¿sí sintieron que les funciona un poquito es repetir mucho, like repeat the same thing over. Yes, teacher, in my case, uh, okay. yes, help me. So it helped a little? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, great to hear that. So, the okay, guys, do you have any feedback, any comment? Christian, perdón, eh, creo que se le estaba quebrando un poquito. Si gusta, deje la cámara apagada mientras se le estabiliza el internet también. I'm sorry, teacher, about the audio. <laughs> With what I sent just uh, last night, I using I using the the, the the cell phone for real the the, the conversation mm -hmm. and and record at the at the WhatsApp. <laughs> ah, okay, that's why yes, I was like, Daniel, the yes, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know how to use how to use WhatsApp. And, 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 and Zoom at the same time. I don't know. Um, I'm because super I, honest. Yes. Mm -hmm. que no se puede. I think yeah, you can't. Yeah. So, si yes, está conectado desde el teléfono. No, right? It's not possible. Yeah, not because, possible. because the Zoom eh, I, I have in my cell phone. I don't have computer. I don't have tablet. Uh, I use my cell phone for the Zoom. Yeah, so creería mm -hmm. que se tiene que desconectar. I think that you I need think. to like, um, eh, like, yeah, kind of log out from Zoom, porque lo contrario es como cuando le cae una llamada y está en Zoom, mm -hmm. que se tiene mm -hmm. que salir obligatoriamente o no escucha. So yes. I would say it's kind of the same process, pero no se preocupe, you know. Eh, Envíemelo cuando tenga tiempo, so you can send it tonight, ya que va a tener una super chill night. <laughs> Me lo pueden ver okay, para que perfect. no se aburre y no se duerma. <laughs> ok. okay. Yeah, so uh, it can be at the end, no problem. Eh, Christian, dígame. Uh, sí, yo creo que se nos está quebrando, Christian. So I think. Uh, um, La radio uh, de Don Daniel. Hello. 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 Listening. Ok, pero creo que nosotros casi no la escuchamos. Díganos algo, Crisi. <ríe> Tell us about your day. Si creería que, um, I think, I believe, eh, que sí se nos está quebrando un poquito. So, you let us know. Nos avisa, Cristian, si nos escucha. Eh, Adolfo, good evening. Thank you for joining. Yuri, good evening. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining as well. Well, guys, um, great to see you. And let's get started with the activities we got for today. Vamos a practicar un poquito eh, simple tests. Cas, eh, el vocabulario que estuvimos revisando el día de ayer, que, les comenté, que lo íbamos a, um, a review y les pedí que lo revisáramos, que lo repasáramos, right before classes. Vamos a practicarlo a little bit today, because el vocabulario se nos queda practicándolo, right? Repeating it over, um, writing it, listening to it. So, um, de otra manera va a ser un poco difícil que nos podamos recordar de ellos. So. I just got a couple of questions here. And of course, guys, if you have an answer for this, if you have something to share, open your microphone, give us the idea, and that would be great. So question number one says, what was the last thing you did for fun? Um, guys, do you do anything for fun? Is there any activity that you do just because? 
Is there any activity you do just because it is cool? Not really. In my face picture, I let me see. Uh, not at the moment, I think so. But the last thing that I did for fun. Mm -hmm. The last thing oh. you did for fun. Okay. Ah, uh, two weeks ago, I got out uh, during the the rain. For example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because. So yeah. yeah. Ah, play, okay. play soccer mm -hmm. uh, under the rain, for example. Oh, okay. It's a, it's Sounds a, it, nice. It, it, it's, a, it, it's a crazy thing I saw. It is I a crazy so. thing, definitely. <laughs> and just because. <laughs> So just because, guys, this expression, yes, because is como porque sí, porque tenía ganas, right? Okay. So just because, just, just because, because, just just because I wanna, oh. I wanna enjoy, I wanna enjoy the rain. Oh, so just because. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I haven't uh, gone out of in the rain for a long period of time. Guys, what about the rest of you? What was the last thing you did for fun? Just because. Solo porque querían, just because you wanted to do it. Anything else? Wait, 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 wait. Um, I got somebody, Arnoldo. Ni modo, Arnoldo, hoy le tocó. <laughs> le tocó participar for all the minutes. <laughs> so, what was the last thing that you did for fun, Arnoldo? Hola. Hello. So, um, yes, uh, like if you see my screen, there is like one question there. So, what was the last thing you did for fun? Uh, play video game today. Oh. Okay. Do you like playing video games? Yes. Is that something you do regularly? Um, um so so. Okay, so playing video games. Yeah, right. So we def definitely have like a couple of activities that are cool for us. So that sounds okay. All right, guys. What about question number two? If you could store one type of food in your pocket, what would you carry? So a store here, no es de tiendita, but a store is como de guardar. So if you could store one type of food in your pocket, what would you carry, guys? In your pockets, like in sus bolsillos, what kind of food would you carry? What is something that you really like? In my case, probably peanuts. So you siempre le daría como semillas. Yeah, like oh, peanuts. Right. Yeah. Um, or dry some nuts. seeds, dry seeds. Uh -huh. What would you take, guys? What would you store? Um, for me, I usually um, I carry some candy, for example, but natural candy, right? Natural candy, what do you mean? Yeah, for example, we make or uh, we produce natural candy, mm -hmm. uh, honey, honey bee with honey bee with eucalyptus, honey bee with toronja, right? Oh, I like it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I always I'll always carry a sample to give somebody. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a, cool. it's a it's a kind of promotion. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Kind of, yeah. Oh, do, would you like a candy? This is my candy. <laughs> I produce it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kind of a sample. That sounds really nice. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? If you could store what kind of, some kind of food, what would you take? Noemi, what would you take in your pocket? Que es algo que siempre anda. I don't know, like a snack, like a cookie, like some candy, like, aha, uh -huh, any kind of things. Maybe the keys of my house. Oh, the keys. Yes. Oh, oh okay. But, but what about food? What about talking about food? About food. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe salad cookies. Like cracker? In my cracker? Something like yes. that? Oh, do you like yes. that? Yes, I like. 
so do you normally some, some um, in my case i prefer salad cookies and and sweet cookies um, and maybe not in my in my pocket by but in my cabinet and my office or um, in my wallet oh okay okay super cool just not in your pocket because they break so they break easily yes. okay so uh, we can yes. call them cracker crackers oh i'm sorry i always forget the word so cracker uh, let me check it out i remember if it's cracker Correct. And also, I always uh, have candies for my for my daughter because she enjoys eat candies. Oh, okay, okay. So correct. Yeah, that's correct. So correct. Uh, cookies. Okay, sounds nice, sir. That would be cookies. Okay. Yes, I really love peanuts. So that would be definitely that for me. So uh, cookies uh, for uh, Noemi or cracked cookies, right? Las saladas o las, las que se quiebran. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Guys, what about the rest of you? What's something that you would have in your pockets? Kenya, uh, Daniel, what about you guys? Mm. Christian? My taste picture is zoological cookies. <laughs> what kind of cookies? Zoological cookies. No. Uh, the cookies. The cookies in form of animals. Yes, animals are you silhouette. serious? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I ate them when I was in kindergarten, so yes, I yes. thought they didn't exist I, anymore. Carlos, good evening. I eat all kinds. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> cookies with animal shape. Okay, animal okay. Shape, yeah. <laughs> Sounds a uh, very interesting taste. So, Angelica, Andrea, what about the rest of you guys? Kenya, Helen. In my case, Judy. Mm -hmm. Before of the pandemic, I always have oatmeal. Ah, oatmeal. Yes, like and in your I prepare. Pocket. Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay. And I prepare. Mm -hmm. Whatever I I stay, I I prepare my oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, Only with, with some water. sugar or just oh, just with water. No, water and a little of sugar. Yeah, right. Because yes. so it's super bland. <laughs> but did you have it for breakfast or did you have it like uh, between meals? like an extra meal or something for always when i want hungry mm, okay but that was before pandemic yes because i i did a lot of exercise oh and now what happened now i have a daughter of two oh, years but you, but you still, <laughs> and I you, work at home <laughs> oh okay I have a lot of work I and got I'm it taking class of English <laughs> oh, okay oh, and okay. I, I have a lot of things to do then exactly. I, I I don't have I don't okay. have enough time to, but what about the old meal no, probably what? not exercise, but what about oatmeal? Um, do you still continue no. with that tradition of having oatmeal with you? No, because I I don't like a lot the oatmeal. Only... I don't like it. Yes, I like, but uh, no, not a lot. Mm -hmm. Just for a diet? Yes. Oh, no, got it. I only use when I was striving because with the exercise we have a lot of hungry yes that's right and so when, it's uh -huh. expensive if you want to to eat well yes so if you want to be on shape or if you want to lose weight or if you want to 
be healthy yeah. so food is really expensive and i guess you is, mentioned is starving cheap. right mm -hmm. yes starving yeah that sounds good i like that yes i like that guys están familiarizados con las expresiones que kenia nos comparte kenia very good vocabulary so kenia said that her favorite food back in the past was oatmeal and she normally had it when she was starving are you familiar with this word um yes yeah if yes. starving starving for example mm -hmm. like super, exactly like it's super, too hungry super, super hungry exactly yeah. like when you say in spanish me puedo comer una vaca right <laughs> Uh, I think that's the expression we have in El Salvador. <laughs> so yes, we normally say, uh -huh, pero faminica, like we are super, super hungry. So that's a starving. I love it. Those are really nice words. Uh, Imelda, good evening. Great to see you here. Okay, guys, anybody else wants to share what is a kind of food? Um, or if you could have stored, yeah. uh, just or not, it can be a snack or just food, anything. It says, what could you store in your pocket? But remember, estamos hablando de sus bolsillos in your pocket. Um, so what would it be? What would you carry? So que es lo que andaría todo el tiempo, right? How do you say semilla? Uh, uh, seeds. Mm -hmm. Those are seeds. Uh, nuts. But but Man, no sé si son or, semillas secas. That would be dry seed. Or, or nuts. Ah, dry seed. No. Mm, nuts. Dry seed, nuts, yes. Nuts. Yeah. Dry seed, nuts. I love peanuts and all that yeah. kind of things. Peanuts. Mm -hmm. So peanuts, nuts, dry nuts. seed, all of them work. Mm -hmm. Cashew. Cashew. Oh, cashew. So cashew seed, oh, that is super delicious. Guys, do you like cashew? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Have you ever like mm, burn or cook the cashew? Yes, of course. Oh, okay, sounds yeah. good. Guys, what about when, the rest? When I, when I was a child, for example, every holy week, right? Mm -hmm. um, we, we put uh, to burn into the, I don't know, comal. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't know how to say that. I would say yeah. comal, but let me investigate if there is another word uh, you can yeah. use. Carlos, I love your dog. Is that a chihuahua? <laughs> it's one of my... <laughs> uh, but what breed is it? Is it chihuahua? Yeah, it's a chihuahua. Wow, okay. but it looks super peaceful. Come. Okay. And yet coming at home. It's a, it's, it's a beer or it's a beer? What do you mean? Huh? What it's do a, you mean? It, it's a deer or beer. A deer or a beer? Yeah. Because beer. Uh, beer, ah, okay, yeah. venado, cabeza de venado. Yeah. O, oh. cabeza, o cabeza de manzana. No, deer. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know they had those, the, two, I don't know. Two types, two kinds, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's like super small, super cute. <laughs> How yeah. many do you have? <laughs> Only one. Estoy en junio, más o menos. Quiero ver en abril, mayo, a principios de junio, a finales de mayo, más o menos. So you have only one? Yeah, I got only one, but I get a... It's a, it's a male or female? Male. Ah, oh, really? Oh. Oh, but it, it's it's very loving, right? So I'm being cariñoso. Yeah. So I'm not familiar with Chihuahuas, but it looks like very loving. Okay, mm. okay. Already. Hi, Iris. Good evening. Okay, guys. So we'll review the vocabulary in the chat later. Okay, but this is just for FYI for you to know. 
So whenever we're talking about like some snacks, so we can have dry seed, as we said, like all of these semillas secas, nuts, right? También we can call it nuts. Peanuts, yes, being a specific uh, mani, right? So those are peanuts. And then we have cashew, that is estas semillas de marañón that are super delicious. Um, and super expensive, I would say. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and of course, we have more. Guys, let's jump to the next one. It says, what is the worst present you have received and why? Um, I guess everybody played Amigo Secreto, right? Kind of a secret friend when you were back in school, high school. Do you remember what is the worst uh, present? Not because it was cheap, but because it was like, really? <laughs> Uh, do you remember anything? <laughs> toilet paper. No. <laughs> you got toilet paper? <laughs> no, no, no. No, not really. <laughs> oh, guys, has anybody received toilet paper? Gracias, Iris. No se preocupe, le agradezco enormemente. Thank you so much for that. Guys, what did you receive? I received um, a, a toothpaste, you know? And I received, I don't remember what else, but I was like 10 years old and I got like a toothpaste and I don't Tooth remember what else. A toothpaste. Ah, like a, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, a toothpaste. To, to brush. Yeah, to, to brush my teeth. <laughs> and I don't remember what else I got. I, I think I got a cup. But I was expecting candies or chocolate, and I got nothing. Yeah, bon <laughs> Not bon. even a chorizo. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so, guys, what was the worst gift you remember? Um, I, I I I remember an experience, but but it is not mine. <laughs> it's oh, about okay. a classmate. Okay. Uh, we are in junior school. Uh -huh. Um, a classmate, a friend, uh, she received um. I don't know how do you say, but a pan con pollo. <laughs> but uh, we can call it pan con pollo. <laughs> <laughs> because those who who had to give to or... her the the, the gift, the, yeah, he forgot <laughs> that oh. we have to to give that day. <laughs> wow. So, so that hey. person got a fine compoyer. But but yeah. that was good, I guess. Was it big? <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, it was little, the small, uh, oh. uh, little. Do, do you remember what your friend said? <laughs> did, did your friend got, I don't know, she was, excited? She was so, so angry because uh, <laughs> the gift that she gave, uh, it was expensive. <laughs> Oh, it was very cool. No. <laughs> so she it was angry. Did, did she get like a compensation after that? Did she get another gift? No. 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 Okay. Wow. Yes. A poco definitely. That would, I don't know. I would have been, um, um, I don't know, kind of disappointed. <laughs> okay, guys, what is the yeah. worst present you got? Uh, uh, three years ago for Christmas, mm -hmm. I received a box of coal. Carbon? Coal. 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 Yes, yeah, carbon. Coal? Yes. Yeah. A, Why? a bag. I don't know. I don't know. In a, in a, when we were in a rifa. Uh huh. Uh, so I, was a raffle. Uh, yeah, carbon. But inside, inside the, the bag of coal, uh, they they have a have a a gift card from Starbucks. Ah. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's a surprise. It's a surprise, yes. But I say, yeah, of course. I say, <laughs> carbon, what? <laughs> I, uh -huh. no, no, me, no me he portado mal. I, I don't, I don't oh. have a, I don't, a bad boy. <laughs> oh, but, but did you see the gift immediately? Did you see the gift card immediately? Uh, yeah, yeah, I see a little, a little piece. Ah, okay. And, and I, and I move the, move the call. And I discovered the. You found discovered it. The, 
Yeah. Yeah, I found it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because imagine you were angry and you were like, oh, no, I don't want this. And you burn it or you throw it away. Uh huh. Wow, cool. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, those pleasure. are really weird things. <laughs> okay. Ah, guys, ¿qué más? So, pan con pollo, cold toothpaste. What else? Give us more. I'm sure you have more stories to tell, guys. Guys, what's the case, worst you have gotten? Yes. In my case, when I, I am, I was in a night grade. Mm -hmm. uh, we played uh, Amigo Secreto, yes. and I, I received a big box. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I opened it, uh, I found another box. <laughs> I, I opened it, another box. <laughs> The, yeah, another one, the, another one, two more, the, two gift, more. the gift was a little, the, the final box was oh. little. No, this is no was the problem. The problem was the, the gift was a change of the of surprises. The oh, really? The la surpresa. Yeah. Yeah, because you expected something like a, big, like a, obviously. Uh -huh. Like a dollar city. Yeah. <laughs> a, a chain of for play <laughs> for a game. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have. I think I we have done that in my house with my family, but for fun, you know. Uh, so just to play a game, just to play a trick on them. So, but yeah, creo que por amigo secreto, I, I don't know. How do you feel? It's terrible. What? Yeah, right. Because you're like, okay, and now? Okay. <laughs> so what's next? Okay, okay, got it. So, yeah, so like boxes between other wraps. Anything else? Do we do you have another one, guys? You can tell us. You can, you want to Hi, Miss. Hello. Okay. In my work, uh, they realized a contest, and I won a, a t shirt, but the t shirt was a really, really, really big. It was it was not your size. No. Okay. What did you do with the t-shirt? I gave at my I gave at my father. Oh, you gave it to your father. <laughs> yeah. Did it fit? So si le quedó, did it fit? Eh, todavía le quedó grande. <laughs> so it was huge wow it was huge what a strange gift okay okay yeah i guess everybody has had a super strange gift thank you guys for sharing that one and let's go with the last question we have here if you were a farm animal so let's understand with farm horses cows oxen um sheep right a goat etc so if you were a farm animal who would you be and why have you ever thought about this one so imagine that you were like one of these animals that is in a farm right so who who or which animal would you like to be and why so no mm -hmm. birds no eagles no pets but farm animals. Christian, do you have it? Uh, in my case, maybe a horse. Why a horse? I like horses. Ah, okay. Horses they are very are... elegant, I think. Yeah. Uh, and very working. strong. Yes, that's right. Horses are really strong. Okay. Interesting. Guys, what about the rest of you? Some horses? <laughs> What animal would you be, Alonso? Uh, Alonso, my God, <laughs> now I'm changing names. Now. I don't know. I don't know why, but the the studies that say that a pig. Pig. What is the characteristic of pig? Yeah. Um. I don't know. I can. I can't say right now. Oh. Okay. No. Uh. I. I. I would like to be. Um. For example, a goat. Oh, why a goat? Yeah, because uh, he he produces milk mm -hmm. 
uh, for high quality, for example. Uh, yeah, the, the, the second, the best second meal around the world. Oh, interesting. Um, what is the first? Uh, yeah. uh, human meal. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, so human the meal human is meal. the first and a goat milk yeah. is the second. I just knew that goat milk second, uh, was good for anemia. So whenever you have anemia, problems with your blood, so yeah, people of recommend course. getting goat milk. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice, interesting. Guys, what about the rest of you? What animal would you like to be, people? So whenever I come to this question, you know, uh, alguna vez leyeron Animal Farm? Uh, leyeron el libro, La Granja Animal? Uh, by Orson Welles. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, is the history about the Union Soviet? Yes, it's related to communism, socialism, all those things. But I liked it, you know, because uh, los animales tenían personalidad. So every animal had like some human characteristics. So now that you mentioned pig, I was like, oh, ¿cuál es la característica de un cerdito? So they have some characteristics. So sounds good. Guys, have you thought yeah. about this one? What animal would you like to be? I want to be a pig. You want to be a pig? Why? Because the pig always be dirty and, and doesn't matter. And the people know that the, and people know that the pigs are dirty and doesn't matter. That is that's totally right. People accept them, right? As they are. Mm -hmm. But I think that I don't know. I feel that pigs are always happy. I so uh -huh, I have I the think. feeling that pigs are like they enjoy, you know, life. Yeah. So I don't know why. They are happy, feeling. yes, always. They en they enjoy his life. It they don't have Everyone. any problem to live. Yeah, I, I it's, so. <laughs> it's anything. Mm -hmm. So I think being a pig is not that bad. <laughs> Daniel, what about the rest of you guys? What animal would you like to be? Carlos, Helen, do you have one? Kenny Arnoldo, Judy? Iris. I want to be a sheep. You want to be a sheep? Sheep. Why would you like to be a sheep? <laughs> because I would like a fluffy. Do you like to be Espo fluffy? Esponjadita. Esponjo. Ah, fluffy. Uh -huh. fluffy. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, pensé que por el por el ruidito que hace, you know, de <laughs> a little way. Me, no, that's a cow. Oh my god, I forgot in the sound. <laughs> okay, okay, interesting. Any other animal guys that have very good characteristics? So we have horses, ox, los bueyes. They are super yeah. strong, right? Yeah, but so oxen. Yeah, but it's uh, uh, only work, to work and work every day. Okay. So they only work. Yeah, carry. it's a different. Cow? It's different to um, bull, for example. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Daniel. Uh, my face teacher, yes, I, I like a bull. <laughs> I don't know. Would you like to be a bull? Why a bull? A bull is very big. I think they um, are aggressive. Aggressive, yeah. and, yes, like aggressive and strong. Aggressive and strong. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so a bull. You don't look like a bull. <laughs> you don't look aggressive. <laughs> okay. Guys, what other animals do we have in the farm? Um, an eagle. I don't know. Mm, but eagle would but be a eagle bird. Is not, it's not farm animal. Yes, uh -huh, I, no, I that's understand. not a farm animal. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. No, but that's but, a beautiful animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful because they have they they fly to hike. Yes. And they they uh, they have 
And I, I, I have always admired the eagles because of that. Um, but talking about farm animals, guys, tenemos a, oh my God, let me say. A rooster. Rooster. Oh, rooster. A rooster, yes. Guys, yeah. how do you say gallinas? A hens. Yes. Hens. The roosters. Hens. Turkey. Uh, Turkey. A turkey. Dogs. Yes. Yeah. Dogs. Dogs. Yes, that could be a dog. Yeah. Rabbit. It's, it's more like a pet. A rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. And dog. Yeah. animal. Which one? Donkeys. Donkeys. Yes. Donkeys. Yeah. No sé si todavía existen. Have you ever have you seen a donkey recently? Yes. A donkey? Yes. Where? In the uh, Isarco <laughs> Tuntunaque. Oh, donkeys. Yeah. Donkey. Yeah. Yeah. Angelica? In Bocatenango. Is there a donkey? Yeah. <gasps> Good. Oh. Oh, okay, or the ponies, right? So, have you seen a pony? I think I've never seen a pony. In the, in the Me too, yeah. I never seen a pony. Uh -huh. in, Just in the cartoons. In Texas Tepeque. Texas Tepeque. Is San, that... Santa Ana, there is a farm mm -hmm. with uh, Mexican, Mexican agriculture and they have a they have so many exotic animals. Oh, Texas Tepeque. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it sounds all right. Uh, what is the other? Angelica, you mentioned Volcatenango. I have never gone there, but I have heard that it's a good place to visit because you can see a lot of farm animals. What what other animals can you see? So don't miss. Uh, 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 a particular name, uh, Pavo Reales. Pico. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yes. Really? Uh, rabbits, rabbits, hens, mm -hmm. and goats. Pigs? Goats. Okay. Okay. Any other place, guys, where we can see some farm animals? Because I have heard here in Hayake in... Oh my God, I've forgotten the place. But I, but I think um, it's not farm animals, but exotic animals. What you can see uh, in Fureza, that's not farm animals, right? It's a zoo. It's a, zoo. a zoo. Okay. Is there any other place where you can see some uh, farm animals? Eh, lugar que se llama la cabaña de don álvaro creo la cabaña y, de don álvaro ok y es muy muy bonito tienen varios animales tienen ovejas cabras eh, caballos acá. por exhibition yeah oh interesting uh, so is that sonsonate or santa ana no en aguachapán en aguachapán no, <laughs> so that's a bunch of fun. Yeah, they have uh, ostrich. Oh, ostriches. Yeah. Okay. I think I have just seen ostrich, but in the zoo. So not like openly. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. So la cabaña de Don Álvaro en Volcatenango. And Texas, the Peca yourself. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Sounds very interesting. Guys, I'm super glad because we got to develop, you know, more the vocabulary. I'm super, you know, glad you know a lot about animals. So that's amazing. Uh, let me see. Arnoldo says, maybe I would be a bull because they do work, hard work. Okay. Okay. Yes. But I think that bulls are kind of a good. No, yeah, you're right. Probably you're right. Okay, guys. Continuing with the part of simple past. Yesterday, revisamos un poquito pronunciation, but today we're going to review a couple of things. One is vocabulary and also a grammar term. So here we have a couple of things. It says, talk about your country's past or a hundred years ago. Uh, probably not a hundred because we were not alive, but podemos hablar de 50 años atrás, right? Not because we lived it, but because nuestra familia nos ha contado, our grandmas, our grandpas, we have seen some movies, etc. So let's talk about like 150 years ago. So cool. we are in 2020, 2022. So we're talking about 19, 
uh, like the 1970s, right? Yeah. That would be 1970s. So guys, back in 1970s, um, based on what your parents or the grandpas told you, how was the past different from the present? What do you think are the main difference, uh, differences here? For example, talking about food, now we have pupusas, we have... Guys, ¿qué es lo que comen normalmente cuando están afuera de sus casas? What do you normally eat? Like pupusas, hamburgers. Hamburgers, pizza. Do you have a, a three course meal? O tienen un almuerzo como um, de casa? Do you have a homemade, uh, some homemade food? In my taste picture, I, 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 I eat, yes, I bring my, uh, to, to my, to my workplace, I bring, uh, I bring food from my home. Oh, very nice. Do house. you cook yes. it? Do you prepare it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. excellent. <laughs> what can you cook? Mm, I carry my, my lunch. You carry your lunch too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But do you cook it or somebody mm -hmm. else cooks? Mm, my mom cooks. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but it's still, I, uh -huh. I can cook a little. You can cook a little. What can you cook? Surviving level. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay, but something is something, right? Eggs, beans, or a job. No mueren de hambre. So you're de hambre surviving no the process. Uh -huh, you're surviving the process. So here we have it. food. Talking about food, what are the main differences now um, I... than in the past, right? Yeah. Yes, Christian? Um, in the past, there aren't any fast food, fast food local. That's a very good point. Um... Mm -hmm. Only uh, a couple of cafeterias, coffee shops. No, in... creo que no había, no había como coffee, coffee stores. I don't know. Not like, not like Starbucks, but uh -huh. in, yes. there are in the center of San Salvador. Oh, yeah. or two. There were some cafeterias, but maybe yeah. we can use the word fancy, but not so fancy cafeterias. Another level. Right? Mm -hmm. Not like a Starbucks. ¿Qué más hay, guys? Que sea fancy. So Starbucks, tostado, or something like that I have seen. Um, creo que he escuchado tostado or tostado. I don't remember, but it's something like that. Um, any other? Oh, Ben's, Ben's shop, Ben's coffee store, something like that. So we didn't have like some fancy things. No. Yeah. Um, talking about weddings, ¿hay alguna diferencia in regards to weddings, the way weddings are celebrated or were celebrated? Clothing. So, ¿qué tan diferente nos vestimos uh, back in like 1970s? And like now, is it different the way we dress up? Do you wear different clothes? What is the trend? Here we have school, we have work, and we have recreation. ¿Hay alguna diferencia en cómo nos divertimos? In the free time activities we perform, and probably que sus hijos, you know, or your brothers mm -hmm. um, perform. So is it different? Uh, a bit different yeah, of course. in recreation. A bit different. <laughs> in, in most of the in most of these uh, things, right? So guys, do me a big favor. Vamos a crear grupos. We're gonna make groups, but because estos temas son super grandes, um, we are going to make a couple of groups here. So uh, quiero que se pongan de acuerdo super quick, and you give me one number. So or you tell me which one you're going to take. Uh, for example, group one is Christian, Helen, Imelda, Kenya, and Gabby. So, guys, escojan un número. Select one para que todos tengamos diferente. Two, uh, Adolfo. Porque... Se pueden escribir en el, en el chat. You know, you can write in the chat. Uh, o privado, whatever you prefer. So, group one is Christian, Helen, Imelda, Kenya, and Gabby. Group two is Adolfo, Daniel, Iris, and Arnoldo. 
in group three is Andrea, Carlos, Angelica, and Noemi. Um, so guys, vamos a escoger uno. So pueden escribirse privado if you want, uh, or the, uh, but try to, or, or you just write it in the chat. Get in agreement super quick, para que no tengamos el mismo. Y no lo quiero asignar because son diferentes. So it's the topic that you feel more, comf uh, more comfortable or the most comfortable talking about. So, cuando ya lo tengan, let me know. Uh, let me see. We are going to do the next. Uh, so, for group one, Christian, escoge el tema. Select the topic. Así um, es su responsabilidad. Uh, <laughs> recreation. Okay, recreation. There you go. Group two. Um, so, I'll go with Iris. Iris, select the topic, please. Creo que ahora Iris estaba trabajando. I don't know, I don't remember. With. Ah, sí, está trabajando, she says. Arnoldo, escoge el tema, please. Why? Hi, Arnoldo, select the topic. Uh, Solo recreation is taken, then puede escoger cualquiera. You can take any of them. Uh, work. 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 Okay. So interesting. Okay. Group and number two, number right? Three. Yes, that is group number two. Okay. And group number three, guys. No, I mean, select the topic, please. The food. The interesting. Time. Okay, perfect. There you go. Okay, guys. So I'll give you 10 minutes. Uh, you can, of course, read. Pueden leer. You can check. Um, so try to make like a, a very brief comparison. Revisamos un poquito la parte de comparativos. Tú, guys, solamente recordemos lo siguiente antes que se me vayan. Para decir había en pasado, yo puedo decir there was, si es uno, pero si son varios, there were. There were. Había una cafetería, there was a cafeteria. No había cafeterías, eso sería negativo. There wasn't any cafeteria. There wasn't uh, any restaurant. Si fuera negativo, there weren't, right? So there weren't any parks. There weren't any shops and so forth. So there was and there were es lo mismo que there is and there are. Guys, vámonos. Si necesitan ayuda, me avisan, please. Let me know. Uh, 10 minutes. Go, let's go, 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 go.
Alrighty, guys. So I guess uh, most of you are done with the topics you discussed. So we have a still um, a couple of topics that nobody took um, into consideration. So let's start with that. And then you give us uh, your opinion on the ones you already discussed as a group. So we have, for example, weddings, clothing that are, that are part of the topics that nobody talked about. And also we have schools. So guys, talking about weddings, uh, what is something that you remembered uh, for the ones who got married a long time ago, yeah. or probably uh, what your parents have told you, um, how weddings were celebrated. Um, for example, my mom, I don't know if that was a joke or for real, but she said that um, when a boy liked a girl, um, yes. part of the court, courtship period was that the boy had to take some locks, you know, like... Um, Oh my God, guys, how do you call it? Cuando son varios locks de madera. Um, uh, leña, el, el, oh my God. Eso de leña. <laughs> so my mom used to say that the boy had to take some leña, some locks uh, to the girl's house. And yeah. uh, if, the, if they get accepted, they got married. I don't know, what do you know about that? Racimo de leña. Racimo. I don't know. I don't remember how. how the mom, a a de bunch leña. of good. Oh, a bunch. Uh, yes, a bunch. Yes, that would be nice. So a bunch of wood. Uh huh. And if they. Para comprometerse. Yeah, something like that. That was yes. crazy. Have you heard about that? Yes. Never. I have. <laughs> you prepare the, the leña. Uh -huh, right. And you put from the the door of the house, mm -hmm. from the family. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I I, I listen Bunch. something like that. Yeah, to the to the to the to the mother. Yeah. Adolfo, eh, si gusta apagar la camarita un momento. Creo que tiene lagging. Creo que el internet está eh, en la cámara y el audio no, no están okay. sincronizados. So, turn it off just a moment eh, para que se lo estabilice. Because I think we have like, uh, a, like a little bit of lag in there. Oh, you're breaking a lid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, that is what I... I never yeah. believed my dad so or my mom. So I was like, no, come on. And then they got married. So um, with like a, a lot of, I don't, I, I don't know. I think it was very, they, they have, right? Uh, some traditions. Guys, do you know anything? Um, have you heard any other stories you can tell us? Well, about weddings. Mm. I, maybe it's not like a, a specific tradition, mm -hmm. but I think uh, maybe in the past uh, it was um, um, maybe a, like a familiar tradition, okay. uh, like uh, that that the family uh, have to cook to the people, and they oh. invited a lot of people to the wedding. And now it's different, but I mm -hmm. think it's maybe um, because of the social media, because mm -hmm. there are uh, different, like, uh, um, como presión. Now, so, or in the social? past. Yes, like now. Peer pressure, social pressure, uh, that would be. Um, mm -hmm. So social pressure. So I think now is a um, more social pressure about the, the wedding, mm -hmm. like a event in a hotel or like a event in a, a specific place. Um, but I, I think before and in the past, mm -hmm. it was uh, cheaper <laughs> and it was ah, okay. and it was easier get married because you don't you didn't have that a uh, social pressure that is true 
That is definitely right. Sir, in the past, you invited 400 people and there was food, drinks, whatever. Yes. And the, people the, were dancing in the street. <laughs> the, um, ¿Cómo es? No había. <laughs> there wasn't or there, there weren't. Mm -hmm. there, there weren't a limit to invite people because the family uh, cooked a lot of food. That's right. They Thinking. killed like animals, right? They killed. Yes, yes some, they some people kill animals. Uh -huh. yeah. Build. Uh -huh. That's right. But but you mentioned something important. There was no like the pressure that you needed to post it in Facebook or in WhatsApp. Or like Instagram. Uh -huh, in Instagram. Oh, I got married in a hotel. I yeah. spent a lot mm -hmm. of money. That, that, that is super, super um, true. I guess yeah. that now we invite 50 people and it's super expensive. Uh -huh, and and only can, can go with a, a acompañante? One more person. Yeah. Uh -huh, yes, that's one right. Even person. you write the number, right? <laughs> And regalo de sobre. Oh, that's another thing. If guys. you that's have, another... if you have husband or boyfriend that they know, if not, they only invited you. That's alone. right. I have been invited a couple of times, and in my invitation says one, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And, then and, you, says, and my Do boyfriend. <laughs> uh, no, you know, and in the in the. And the colado, so there is not opportunities for colados anymore. So. A, a friend, a friend uh, told me that recently uh, the, uh, he ha, he has invited to a wedding. So um, he was dating with a girl. So they, they, he mm -hmm. he said to to the friend that has um, that has invited to him. <laughs> Uh, if if he can go with with the girl, with the girl, but uh, the the person that uh, the teacher leave the meeting. <laughs> what happened? The teacher leave mm -hmm. the meeting. Maybe. No, no. I'm here, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, of course not. It's <laughs> silent. <laughs> but I'm having. Give me. Es, eh, no, no, no. Lo que sucede es que mi computadora se volvió loca. And, oh. and I was listening to you. Wait. And right now you are of the phone. Yes. Me escucho doble, right? No. No. Entonces yo me escucho. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's me then. It's me. <laughs> no, guys. Lo que sucede es que mi computadora got super crazy. And uh, escucho como... I, I guess it's just my computer is, is dying. So I was listening to you, pero se me quedó bloqueado todo. That's why I, I'm in my phone. But I was listening to... Um, to yes, I can Amanda. hear Oh, okay, okay, perfect, perfect. So I was just listening to Imelda telling us a little bit about the 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 experience she had, right? Well, it and... was a, a friend experience. It's not, it's not my oh, experience. <laughs> it was not yours. I thought, no, I thought it, it was, it was yours. a friend experience. Uh, but but the, the 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 end of the story is that the the person who who got married, uh, mm -hmm. he said that uh, he he can go with a girl but mm -hmm. if he pays the dinner <laughs> no yes so it was like if you want to go you need to pay for it like your food yes okay. you, you have to pay for the extra dinner <laughs> yeah oh, okay but it's incredible for me in the baby shower mm -hmm. 
you have to to give a present, pay the the food, and all. In baby showers, do you need to pay? Your food, yes. Yes. Yes, you pay your food. <laughs> I'm so happy my friends don't invite me to baby showers. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, uh, okay, all of it has changed, you know, so. Um, but it calls my attention. Um, it says, Adolfo here, during the wedding, the boyfriend gives to his girlfriend some gold coins mm. called Arras. Oh, okay. That's part of the tradition, I guess. But I'm not sure if it's only uh, in the Catholicism or in like all different churches. So I don't it's really a, know. Only... Adolfo, se nos está cortando. You're breaking a little bit. And, uh, and Arnoldo says, what's more wedding by three by threat? What, what do you mean uh, by threat, uh, Arnoldo? Muchos matrimonios bajo amenaza. But but how? Um, I like, <laughs> is that for experience? Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, but I, I hear. It's a little scary. Okay, no, no, but uh, what do you mean by a threat? Like a threat for from yeah. parents? Mm. Mm. Yes, by mm. the father of the novia, the novia? of the bride. Of the bride, yes. Uh, I hear uh, a lot of um, example. Examples, yes. Okay. Uh, but but the father of the bride threatened who? The bride or the boy? The boy. Oh. So the groom was uh, was threatened. Okay, guys. Normally, uh, these two words that you have in the chat, please write them down because we're gonna be working with this vocabulary later. So, bride, you know that you have a girlfriend and boyfriend. Pero cuando se casan o es ya la ceremonia, we call bride a la novia. Ya no es novia ni es prometida ni esposa, sino le llamamos bride. And to the man, le llamamos groom. So bride is the girl, groom is the boy, ya no es novio. We don't call it boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. So that is like the new name that we give this to. Okay, very interesting. So the All next right. topic, the next topic that we have right here, guys, is related to, to clothing. So do you remember a, a little bit about clothing? Uh, has it changed? I, I think clothing is a cycle. Always okay. back again. <laughs> yes, right. So it is changing. So what about now? Maybe in the seventies, the the clothing are like a hippies or. I don't know how they say uh, los acampanados, los pantalones acampanados. Yeah, the big flare. Uh -huh. yeah. So they had kind of a big flare. Okay. And the, the, and the clothes were colorful, bien colorida. Y, and this time is more, more, um, como se dice? Como que se lo más formal, maybe? More neutral formal. colors like colors no. a little bit more neutral okay yes. okay um i have a question guys uh, who has this kind of b flare or bell um jeans um so can can son como los los que tienen más experiencia here guys Adolfo uso de campana. Did you wear like these bell jeans, like fleur jeans? Christian, did you wear those? No, <laughs> definitely <laughs> not, no. No, nobody. 
Nadie no se sabe campana. Guys, your family no usaban de campana. Afro, my dad, afro hairstyle. My, my dad was. My dad was. Your dad. Do you have a picture? No, I have a picture. I have a picture. You have a picture. My mother was. No estoy segura quién se le está friseando. I think it is Adolfo. 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 My sister, yes. Okay. Yes, Adolfo. Sorry, you're freezing a little bit. Apaga su camarita un momento. Turn it off. Eh, mientras se le estabiliza. You're freezing a little bit. Uh, okay, not... guys. What about Afro hairstyle? Did you have Afro hairstyle? No. I saw Nothing. in the in the school. <laughs> oh, in the school, Kenya, yes, Judy, yes. no, nothing. No. Come on, guys. I don't. So, I don't. So, what about your generation? ¿Qué se usaba? Yeah. <laughs> My generation was uh, the emo generation. Arnoldo yeah. says I use Afro. Arnoldo, we want yeah. to see a picture. I... I don't have. Uh, Come on. I have only on in Facebook. It doesn't matter. Descarga la and then share it in the group. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can present it. We want to see your afro. Uh, is your hair like and curly? How do you say trenzas? I'm sorry? How do you say trenzas? Trenzas. Those are. um. I forgot it. Uh, yeah. pero, pero no son de las de la um, de la raza. Rastas. Sí son rastas. Yeah. Ok, entonces tiene otro nombre. Yes. So, si son trenzas normales y dejas one name. Si son... Eh, son loops. No. Loops. Uh, dreadlocks. Uh -huh. So those are dreadlocks. Las rastas, right? I Did you wear rastas? Did you wear dreadlocks? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so Afro and dreadlocks. All right. Guys, what about the rest of you? So what was common in your generation when you were growing up or when you were a teenager? When I was growing up, everybody was emo. So everybody have like this hair over covering one eye, um, wearing Converse, uh, black clothes. That With was the, the side thing. of Britney Spears. Oh, Kenya, did you ever wear that style of clothing? Hola. Britney Spears clothing? Jeans, tronconeros. Hola, hola, hola. Oh, that's right. Hi, baby. Yes. <laughs> okay. I use a mic microphone hair. What is that? Microphone hair. What is that, guys? I, I think I'm not familiar with that. Okay, so Kenya where Kenya wore uh, like the low yeah. hair. Low hair Creo que se nos sigue quebrando. Yeah, no, sorry. Todavía se sigue quebrando. It's a still breaking. Carlos, where are you? Carlos, what did you wear? Here I am. I didn't see a picture of the 70. So, okay, so what was, uh, did you ever were, were like, I don't know, the 70s look, Afro look, a hipster or hippie look? Uh, and the photo that I sent to the chat in WhatsApp. Today? The pants are acampanados. Uh -huh, so the four jeans. I don't, Oh, Adolfo, that's yours. Oh, my God. Eso, Guys, do you see the group? Yo, me encuentra. <laughs> Guys, do you check the group? Okay. And Carlos is sharing. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, my God, Carlos. But 
which one are you? <laughs> That's really hard to guess. Um, that is a really nice picture. Yeah, that they are all my cousins. Oh, but it's really hard to guess who you are. <laughs> uh, que, perito de arriba es, era, era mi primo hermano con el que casi que nos criamos juntos. Él falleció hace 21 años. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. La pequeña que está enfrente de, de Celestito, del trajecito celeste, es la hermana de él. Oh, ok. Y so los otros dos. El de rojo que está al frente con la que está allá atrás también. Es una niña también, la que está atrás de la de traje celestito, son hermanitos. Oh, so you are? <laughs> la camisa azul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So the, the, the second line, right? Uh -huh. So the blue and second line. Okay. That's a really nice picture, actually. And, and yeah, you can see like the jeans, super flirt, fue, super veil. Eso, mm -hmm. eso fue acá en el aeropuerto de Ilopango, cuando todavía era el aeropuerto. Oh, okay. Wow. So, yeah, that, that's a really cool picture. Adolfo, that is a nice picture, too. So, it's, I mean, the Afro style. Eh, creo que nos falta Arnoldo, right? Dijo que oh. la iba a enviar. So, he said he was going to send it. Um, so, so, Arnoldo, hey, is that you? <laughs> Oh, Arnoldo, that looks great. <laughs> okay, okay. So, really interesting, guys. Uh, girls, what about you? Do you have any, any like, picture representing a style? No. So probably. <laughs> we are young. Nah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, it's still... Uh, it, it's que cambiado mucho, but now I think you have kind of gothic. Um, so you have the Rasta style and you have a lot of them. So uh, let's come to the ones that we were discussing, right? So we were discussing food. We were discussing a little bit of work. And also we checked the other one that is recreation. Let's start with recreation. Um, how has it changed? Is it different now the, the way we spend our, our time? What do you think? About recreation. Mm -hmm. Yes, about recreation. Is it different? Yeah, of course. Uh, now you can you can access uh, for example, you can you can play with technology. Mm -hmm. And in the 60 or 50, uh, you can play with other children, right? Your classmate, your neighbor. And now you can you can play in your home and you can fight, for example, in a, a by self by cell phone with mm -hmm. your with your friend in in the house in front, for example. That is right. So in the past yeah. we used to play with more people and now we play on our cell phone. Yes. Anything yeah. else, guys? Anything else that has changed? Uh, in my opinion, I think yeah, the the in my opinion, uh, I think the recreation changed totally. Mm -hmm. uh, before I play uh, football in the street, uh, mm -hmm. play capirucho, chibola. But now uh, children play with the video games and uh, mm -hmm. play with the cell phone. Uh, the technology changed the manner we now we we play. Yes, and the way we intera interact with people, right? The way we socialize too. Okay, 
Yes, you're totally right about it. And uh, so in the past, I think yesterday, we were talking about the games we used to play, like hopscotch, um, like pool, probably jacks, you know? So those are things that we don't do anymore. Um, what about the second guys? What about work? So can you see what I'm going to work? Uh, Arnoldo, are you ready? Yes, maybe in the 17th, the work was more rude. Mm -hmm. because we didn't have access to technology. Okay. And now the job are easy because the technology is help. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm many, to talk about the work. Many jobs doesn't exist. Okay. Like the telegrapher or the people that work in train. Mm -hmm. Okay. So some jobs disappeared. You're totally right. Yes, in the past you had telegrapher. Obviously now we have cell phones. We don't need that one. But yeah, okay. Guys, do you have anything else to add on jobs? Is it different? Is it the same? Is it better? Is it easier? Um, I think in, in the past, uh, jobs uh, was a little hard. Mm -hmm. uh, the computer changed uh, that. Uh, a computer and now uh, make more easy uh, to work, for example, to make a letter or or uh, or what <laughs> I. Don't know. Oh, yeah. está haciendo super bien. You're doing nicely. You're doing nicely. Continue, continue. Or, um, for example, uh, make a letter or uh, record a, a meeting. And, and or, communicate, another... or communicate with other, other people. That is super right. And also you have home office, right? That especially after the quarantine or with COVID, we discovered we can work from home. So that is, tele, you know, another way of working too. Okay, interesting. And guys, let's finish with the last but not the least. So that is food. We were discussing with Andreas and Carlos' group some of the food that we normally um, eat now in comparison to the past. So we came to, um, you know, get familiar with some weird words. <laughs> so guys, how do you say pipianes? Can you share with the group, please? A couple of things that you got. So, Carlos, Andre, whenever you're ready, creo que también that was uh, Angelica, that was Noemi, I think. So, what can you tell us about food, guys? Okay. We discussed about the food uh, is different uh, because um, in the past, the food was cheap. Mm -hmm. and uh, the the food was prepared with uh, manteca, no with oil. We in in the in, in the present we have a lot of a uh, kind of oils in the in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe 
the people prepare with uh, natural things. We talk about the, the designers of pupusas, for example, for, <laughs> for Loroco, for Cochinito and Papelito. And um, these days, we have uh, more kinds of pupusas, uh, but no like in the past. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Um, that is super right. Yeah. There are no many uh, kinds of, of uh, how do you say, comida basura? <laughs> Junk food. Junk food. Junk, Junk food. food. <laughs> only new uh, pollo campero, pizza boom, uh, McDonald's. Yeah. Nice what well, we eat, chorizos that are super good, <laughs> and things that we eat every single day. Uh, I'm super guilty because yesterday mm. I had um, a subway for lunch, and I was like, "Oh, I feel guilty. I should have some soup." So yes, I agree. <laughs> we are eating a lot of junk food. Okay, yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. Tell us. Tell us. Uh, our job. We got to choose the first food you can reach in, in the way. Exactly. So what is more practical, right? I'm sorry, Noemi, you wanted to say something. Yes, uh, normally the people um, uh, um, have a lot of kinds of trees in his home. Mm -hmm. uh, Normally, avocado, mango, fruit. Um, some people, um, how do you say, sembrar? Grow. Grow. Grow de crecer. Yuca, mm -hmm. Grow. Yuca, for example, or, or different kinds of food for prepared mm -hmm. at home. That is right. But today, only buy the, the fruit or vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's super nice because most people have these fruits and vegetables at home, so they didn't need to buy them. That was amazing. Okay, guys, that was like a super nice participation from everybody. I really liked it. And that you can share your pictures. That was super cool. Nos quedan pendientes algunas pictures. Yo sé que más de alguien tenía el estilo emo y era like emo style. Creo que por ahí vi las fotos de, um, de Corea con el rasta, wow, eh, no parece Arnoldo, like, pensé que tenía rastas super largas, but they were like super, super tight. So thank you so much for sharing your pictures. Um, and thank you guys for participating. So ya les sumé ahorita la foto de asistencia, así que no worries. Um, I truly appreciate it. Guys, solamente una cosita, no se les olvide, please, completar la plataforma si todavía está pendiente, right? Thanks, everybody. Nos vemos el día de mañana, if God willing. Have a wonderful night and sleep well. Bye, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Let's go.